Hi, John here. Um, today is Monday, the 14th of November 2016. Um, and we've had major earthquakes here at a time when John Kerry is here uh, visiting New Zealand and after going to the um, Antarctic and coming back here in uh, government in Wellington, a beehive there, and the earthquake shook. And he's experienced the earthquake. I think he knows all about that and why he's here for the Navy next week, uh, are coming from the United States with 22 other uh, Navy countries uh, having their meetings here in line with the TPPA meetings that he's here for and also martial law from the United States. Uh, you'll be uh, quite surprised to know that British Navy ship is not coming. Uh, there's a reason behind that because this is all United States uh, doing and everything going on in politics that uh, Vladimir Putin, Russia, wants to get rid of. All the corruption and fraud that you see right in front of your eyes. So we're watching here as well because we uh, want to have a relationship with America only if Trump is there. Um, and being Scottish tied to uh, Britain, he has good ties with uh, Scotland. And so do we in our uh, titles here, our land titles, and with King William IV. Um, uh, jurisdiction of Admiralty, which is what the main focus of our um, meetings with the chiefs on Friday up in Ngāpui at uh, Kaitaia. Uh, we'll be meeting, I'll be putting on a presentation for these issues politically, financially and also culturally with our connection, our legal status connection to the King of England or King of Britain, UK, King William IV and his successor uh, King Ernest Augustus V, uh, so is King of Britain, UK. So now we'll listen to um, Vladimir Putin congratulating Donald Trump and um, set to uh, have relationships um, with him, uh, Russia and America. That'll open the way for us here with the Moai Crown, King William IV, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World to hook up with them and Nigel Farage is in that line as well in Britain, UKIP, uh, speaking our same level of communication or intelligence uh, for trade. Uh, the, a flag that we have is a trade flag that can fly uh, and Russia knows that very well. So we'll let him roll now and listen to him talk. Here goes. A few hours ago, presidential elections have finished in the United States of America. We have been following this campaign with attention. And I'd like to congratulate the American people with the end of the electoral cycle. And I'd also like to congratulate Mr. Donald Trump with his victory in these elections. We have heard his electoral slogans when he was still a candidate of the president которые были направлены на восстановление отношений между Россией и Соединенными Штатами. Мы понимаем и отдаем себе отчет в том, что это будет непростой путь с учетом той деградации, в, которых, в которой, к сожалению, находятся отношения между США и Россией. We understand that the way to that would be difficult, taking into account the current state of degradation of relations between the U.S. and Russia. И это, как я уже многократно говорил, не наша вина, что российско-американские отношения находятся именно в таком состоянии. And as I have repeatedly said, that is not our fault that the Russian-American relations 
are in that poor state. Но Россия готова и хочет восстановления полноформатных отношений с Соединенными Штатами. But Russia is ready and wants to restore the full-fledged relations with the United States. Повторяю, исходим из того, что это будет непростой путь, но мы готовы пройти и свою часть. I repeat, we understand that this will be a difficult way, but we are ready to play our part in it. И сделать все, чтобы вернуть российско-американские отношения на устойчивую траекторию развития. And do everything to return the Russian-American relations to the stable and sustainable development track. Это пошло бы на пользу как российскому, так и американскому народам. This would serve the well-being of both Russian and American people. И позитивно сказалось бы на общем климате в мировых делах, учитывая особую ответственность России и США за поддержание глобальной стабильности и безопасности. And would have a positive effect on the general climate in the global affairs, taking into account the special responsibility of Russia and the US to sustain global stability and security. There we go. Uh, so that's Vladimir Putin. Um, giving his speech and we're hoping that uh, we can get to speak to him there might be that sort of talk up in the Marae up in Kaitaia when we have a meeting on Friday uh, we'll be discussing these very issues for our part to play in the Pacific region of our authority under our Admiralty flag so that's all I wanted to say for this video and uh, hope you can take something from it as being statesmen, those two, the President-elect Donald Trump and President Vladimir Putin are statesmen, businessmen and that's what I take um, a lead on as role models in business. Okay, thanks.